Hello and welcome back. So we'll continue with the template creation. Let's go ahead and proceed to uh, step nine where we are creating the, uh, we're going to create the footer. Let's go ahead and add the footer. So in order to do that, you got to click on insert footer. You can either edit or insert footer. Let's go edit footer. So make sure you check the uh, different first different first page. And uh, I, I'm going to pull the header as a uh, footer a little bit longer because I need more space here. So then um, let me edit that again. Insert footer, edit footer. So then I'm going to add this text and I'm going to insert a table with three columns. Let's go ahead and uh, start inserting data. So we have the logo comes here. Let's go add the customer. So remember, you cannot pull the, uh, you know, you cannot pull the tape, tape data like you do for, you know, you cannot just click and drag the data here. So we may have to, uh, <clears throat> or you know, you can click, but then you, it may not work. So that's everything is under G checks. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Get the uh, customer name, customer company name header. Let's go ahead and do that. It may not work, so we may have to we have to copy this name. So um, let's go. So at this point, we have to note down these tags name. So which are the tags that we want to display? So let's go ahead and copy all the tags into a into a notepad. Um, so let's copy the note tag tags. So let's go ahead and copy the tags here. So make sure you change it. Yeah. Let's continue with the other fields. So let's go ahead and type in all the other fields. And uh, we have merged a few cells here. Let's put the image from the uh, for the signature. So we have copied the image. So in uh, real life, uh, these signatures vary based on the uh, approval limits. Um, so we are not going to get that complicated, uh, but I would definitely add a few templates so that would uh, show you those uh, uh, those those scenarios. So let's go ahead and uh, start formatting it. So in this step, we are going to if there is a microphone, make sure you tie it to this uh, field. I'm sorry, like and uh, remove the borders from the footer. Let's go ahead and try it and test it out. So let's try it out. So at this point, I've uh, I've uh, created, uh, I've, I've removed the format, uh, removed the uh, borders. So let's go ahead and make the footer for the uh, over uh, overflow page. So let's go ahead, copy. Let's go ahead and copy this uh, footer. Let's go ahead and uh, close it. Let's go ahead and insert a new row, a new row by control control new. Let's go ahead and insert um, footer, edit footer. Let's go ahead and paste it. So this would create. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and remove this image and put void. Make sure it uh, fits in the right way. So let's go ahead and uh, center text direction. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure it stays at the bottom. So it's so we have this void to make sure that the check is not, uh, um, you know, the check the check is not duplicated. So let's th remove the authorized signature. Close it. Let's go back up. And we can just uh, remove the page break, so just delete it. So even though it says still one, you would have to, because we said uh, if you look at the page footer, if you look at the first, remember we said the different first page. So, so we'll have two. Even though we 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 deleted that, we still have it. Uh, once we you know when you do a preview, you would see that uh, preview PDF. You should see two pages. So this is one, and this is the first page. This is the second page, and it has the uh, void. So let's go ahead and format this. Uh, let's start formatting. So the uh, let's do the formatting for both the uh, both the pages. 
So we remove all the uh, the borders, change the font appropriately. So it looks like this. So again, I did the same thing. I created a page break here, and uh, we'll create two pages. Uh, the second one is a void one. We can change the formatting. Uh, we can even take the take out the marker if needed. If you know if it's not needed. So at this point, let's remove the page page breaks and uh, try. So next thing we you know next thing you know the next thing you know, normally we'll do is we'll format the top part. Then we will align everything in you know how we'll align it so that it should fit into the uh, pre-printed template or you know the template. So if you observe the output, you would see a lot of blank spaces that's coming in. So we basically want to fill in this data with the uh, table structure, and there will there will be an amount at the bottom. So in order to do that, we're going to use another uh, variable to. Uh, we're going to basically loop. Uh, you, you know, for example, if there are twenty rows that can be fit in, into this uh, white space, we will add a loop to loop through. You know, twenty minus let's say five we have. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, uh, log so at this point, we have added the uh, countdown. So if you look at the countdown, all it's doing is it's going to loop through. Uh, uh, rows, uh, rows per uh, rows per page. So we have defined a rows per page on the top, and we're going to loop through until you know. Basically, we are looping through until the, you know ten times or however times the rows uh, rows per page is defined. Um, let's go ahead and add the add the page total. Uh, the page total is another variable that we define, and we are incrementing that variable uh, within the uh, template. Let's go ahead and test it out and see what how does it look. So all these templates are available for download. Feel free to download and uh, you know try it out. So at this point, you can see these. You know you can see the page total, and if you look down, you can see the footer with the checks. The second page is a different total, and uh, you know check amount is still the same. So let's go ahead and remove the inside inside boundary inside boundaries. So to do that, just click on it. And click on format table properties. So, so click on highlight the table, click on design, click on the borders. Let's select uh, inside borders, remove. Let's make sure we delete all the, uh, sorry, let's make sure we remove all the unnecessary spaces in between. And you can select all and delete. And let's go ahead and test it out. So we have created the check. Uh, you know, it's, I don't have a micro installed in my machine, so that's why you see this. Uh, once you install the micro, you should be, uh, you should, you should see it a different day. So this concludes a simple check. I mean, you know, even though there was a lot of steps in it, but the, the process is the same. So uh, I would definitely recommend you to download, uh, you know, download the zip file, go through. So I've saved the check for each step, and um, you know, you definitely take each check, you know, each step, you know, run it through. I'm go also going to save the PDF file in the same line, in the zip file, so you would be able to test it out thoroughly. So again, these these chapters are. Uh, not you know not easy it, it needs a lot of uh, hands-on work so i would definitely encourage you to um, download the zip file try it out if there is any questions you know feel free to reach out to me um you know i'll try to uh, answer it uh, at, at the earliest thank you